guys, so this is like the final video for today. But basically, I went into trying to pick the right stuff up. I went into town today because I had to pick a few things up because obviously I've been on holiday. And I basically thought, why not have a look in my local stores? So these are a few odd little bits that I've literally just picked up today. Um, reasonably cheap. I also traded a few bits in um, second hat doubles on my Amiibo cards in CEX, which you can do if you didn't know. So please do it so we can all collect all the damn cards that they've done. Um, but yeah, so... These are just little things that I picked up. Obviously, I had money that went towards it. Um, right, so I picked these up from CEX. So first of all, uh, this one is called Zookeeper. You can see it cost me £1.50, dirt cheap. It's literally just a pairing game, like matching up everything. But I'm not going to lie, I absolutely love this game. It's amazing. And I've been looking for it for a long, long time, actually. And I didn't want to pay a lot of money for it, because as I said, it's literally just a... Slot, use the stylus, swipe and get the same like pandas, three pandas together, three crocodiles but it's super awesome, super cute and if you can find this anywhere it's a definite, definite must have it's it's fun, you can do quest mode, normal mode, love it Um, I picked this one up from CEX um, which is Yoshi's Island DS version so this is the one with the stylus I'm pretty sure, the only thing that I will say um, this cost me 10 I'm not bothered, it's quite a good price. CX does do this a hell of a lot and it does bug me because I'm a collector and sometimes I know that's one of the easiest ways for me to collect games in CX and stuff and they do this. So, it's not necessarily a bad thing, well I think it's a bad thing. Basically, when I pick the box up, um, Sometimes they leave these in here. So this is the actual um, instruction booklet. And I know, basically you only get some guys, the old games with instruction booklets now. So this was in there. So I was like, perfect. I want the one with the instruction booklet because that's just me. Then he got, they, they had two of these games on the shelf. So, you know, so then they went and got this so this is another set of instruction booklets so this means the next person that buys this game won't get these in there because in case you think i'm just doing them so there is two i've got two lots of instruction booklets now which me i don't mind because i will pick the best ones out keep the best ones put the other ones away but i do think they should be more in line with that they should care more about that they should think to themselves I'd want the instruction booklet, it's my clock again, I'd want the instruction booklet so I should think other people will want it too, I will think about that, but that is just me, that is just me ragging on CX, like I said I enjoy the store, the store gives me what I want, second hand video games for cheap prices, um, some for too much, but etc, yeah, so that's just one of my pet peeves. Um, I picked up this one, which is one of their, sometimes they get brand new games in, that they can then sell, obviously this, they must have a deal with someone, but this is um, Blaze, Brew, Blaze Blue Chrono Phantomers Extent, I really can't say that word, but basically it was a tenner and it's a brand new Xbox One game, I'm perfectly happy to play that, um, it's obviously one to two players or two to eight online, and I so say perfectly fine with that. If I, if I don't, I've never actually played this one and I just quite liked the look of it. So I thought if I played it, then if it's no good, then I'm not too bothered. Do you know what I mean? It's not like I'm going to be like, oh, I spent like 30, 40 quid on a game. If I don't like it, I spent a tenner and it will sit and add to my collection, which I'm perfectly happy with. Um, the last thing I actually did was I picked up another pack of these from Game. Um, obviously they're becoming shorter and shorter and shorter, like harder to get basically. Um, so yeah I'm hoping to get some good ones out of here if not again I can trade them in the CX it's absolutely fine but as I've said to you if you do collect these CX does take these in uh, Base Co takes them in as well and you can trade them in um, I've just traded a bunch in to the South End store CX and the Base Co in South End has um, some second hand ones of these as well which are actually mine 
again because I traded some in there and I bought something in there. So if you're looking for any Animal Crossing amiibo cards, um, take a look either if you're not near to South End, take a look on their website. They actually do deliver as well. Base Co. I don't think actually deliver, but you can actually ring the South End store. They have a telephone number if they bother to answer their phone. I've rang a few times and they're allergic to it. Um, but yeah, if you they have them them ones in the front window and CX will have the ones I traded in. I traded a massive wad in their windows and they'll be on their website. So if you just in case you are looking for any particular ones, obviously there were season series one and three of what series is this? I have to see what series this is to what series I traded in. I know I traded in series one, series three. So I, tried, I traded a couple of series four in and a massive wad of series one in. So if you want to, um, and there are some series two and three in base co. So yeah, if you want to look at those those in, um, obviously they're in South End because that's near where I actually live. But if you want to obviously take a look, then please do. And you can hopefully get some cards that you need. But so let me know what you think about this video. Obviously, don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button as well to see more videos like this. It really does help so, so much. I've got loads of other videos online that you can check out if you want to. Also, don't forget to leave me a comment. I do reply to all comments. And I'm. this is like my last video today. I've uploaded probably about four by this point. So let me know what you think of those and don't forget to check those out too. I've got a few unboxing. I've got unboxing of Pokemon Go. So a limited edition EV build a bear unbox and actually a little kind of um like textiles one as well so let me know what you think of those but thanks very much for watching and i'll see you guys later